Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in our Padawan Neo channel. So today we'll be talking about the topic of shards, arena shards, which a lot of people are not really clear about. And I used to be that too, and I had to put a lot of time in and see how it really worked. So that's what I'll be explaining today. So firstly, uh, I'll be explaining uh, how shards work. So obviously you have lots of different shards. So let's say I have these uh, people in top 10. So the St Stinnen, Therion with the SLKR and the gas. So this is my shard, but if you look into another person's top 10, it likely won't be the same as mine unless they're in the same shard as mine. That's because uh, Star Wars obviously has thousands and thousands of people, so they won't be able to fit everyone into one shot so they split it up into many so how is shot determined well it's basically uh, the year you join pretty much and so when you're about level 26 i'm pretty sure uh, your shard is set and that'll be your shard uh, forever basically and shard is obviously rng dependent it depends uh which shard you land on but it's basically the people who uh, downloaded the game in around the same time as you. So you might you might be thinking, well, uh, my friend has a shard which has, let's say, top 10 Galactic Legend. And then someone else has, let's say, top 50, all of them Galactic Legends. And you might ask, why the difference? Well, I'll be explaining that. Basically, if you have an older shard, so let's say older shards mean uh, sh someone who downloaded this game from the very beginning, so five years ago, they will likely have an easier shard, which means uh, less Galactic Legends, which are uh, meta right now. So you might be wondering, well, that doesn't make sense. Surely they get harder players since they are players that, that has been playing for a longer time. Yes, for some instances that might be true, but lots of older players have actually quit the game. Whereas if I downloaded the game, let's say quite recently, like a year ago, it'll be more likely that I'm still active and playing in the game. So that that's why. So if I downloaded this game a year ago, I'll likely uh, have a harder shard than someone who's downloaded five years ago, since most of their shard is now already inactive. However, it is quite RNG dependent to whether you have uh, lots of whales, as in people who spend uh, in your shard. I mean, if there's 50 people in your shard who just happen to be together and all of them spend money to get Galactic Legends, well, you're pretty unlucky. And yeah, that is uh, RNG dependent to an extent. And so I have a big advice for you uh, for people who can push to let's say top 50 or top 10 or to the top well there's something called a, a shard chat each shard should have a shard chat on discord so if you want to find them either you try and type in their username on discord and try and find them uh, try to find the top 10 obviously or top 20 if you can't find top 10 or you can ask, uh, try and uh, message them through the game by trying to and and by trying to find the name of the person. So for me, this is a uh, Stino, right? So I'll try and type Stino and then type Swagger, and I'll try and access the Swagger website, which you're probably you probably know about. Find his ally code, and then with that ally code, you try and message him through the game, or message the top ten people, and you go, "Hey, do you have a shard chat?" And yeah, basically, you might ask why, why, why do you need to get involved in the shard chat? Well, firstly, you you can be friends with them, and that means you can, let's say, if I wanted to experiment my team against. Uh, a certain team composition I can ask the friend hey can you uh, please set this on defense so I can try out on uh, try my offense out uh, the second reason is basically you might have something called a shard rotation so let's say Sistino is number one right now but uh, number two th uh, Therion 
uh, they might discuss so that the top 10 each rotate to have a rank 1 rewards uh, each day. So Ethereum will be uh, rank 1 tomorrow, SE, 7 e N uh, the day after, and you keep rotating so you get pretty even rewards. Well, people do that because let's say if if I'm pushing to the top and I push the top like in the last five minutes, if you have a shard chat that prevents basically uh, you getting dropped back down to like top twenty and like that un that feeling is really annoying when you when you're top one and then you suddenly get dropped in the last five minutes, so that can prevent that. So yeah. So in conclusion, my best advice for you is to try and contact your shard and try and find the top 10 if you can push near the top. As well as that, uh, basically old shards are likely easier and, and newer shards are likely harder. But obviously there is some RNG element and anomalies, but that should be the general trend. So if you enjoyed this video and helped you clear your mind about some of these arena shard issues that you were thinking about, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll be uh, uploading a lot more, f uh, a lot more soon. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.